But there is some sort of discussion we have to have, right? You're ordered to leave. You are ordered you have to leave. To leave. Shut up. This freaking Colonel Sanders or whatever over here is still you are ordered to shut up. Shut up. You called the cops over here. So now shut the f up and let the cops do what they're doing. If you were going to sit there and yap your dentures together, then you shouldn't even call the cops. You sitting here talking about ordered under what authority? You can't kick nobody out of this building. That's why you had to call the people with the and the tasers and the pepper sprays and things. Shut up. Just shut up. Just shut up. Next time you use the word ordered, it better be at the McDonald's. Hello, everybody. How are you doing on this fine Monday? I'm kind of tired today, but the show must go on. We are recording a few episodes for a study break today. I think we're going to have to do some brainstorming for the podcast. And of course, got to make my daily video for that surprise witness. So I hope that y'all had a great weekend. Like I told y'all last week, my pool opened this weekend. So that's nice. The weather wasn't really pool conducive. That's one of the horrible things about living in the Northeast. It could be like damn near June and it's still 45 degrees outside. I really hate it. And I'm not living here next year. I'm definitely not going to be here in the springtime next year or the wintertime. I'm moving. I'm leaving. In the summer, the Northeast is a dream. It is a dream. Boston, Princeton, New York, Philly. It's just beautiful. It's just wonderful. But if it ain't the summer, I want nothing to do with this hellhole. Anyway, okay. So today's video is going to be another reaction to an audit, but I've actually, I think this is the third time that I've had the idea to do a reaction to this guy's videos because I don't necessarily like want to put him on because I don't really know like what his deal is, but y'all have asked me to cover him too. Some of y'all. Let me share the screen. So it's this guy's channel and he has a lot of subscribers, 142,000 and his channel name is Two. A pre. I don't I don't know what that means. I really don't know. Um, but he's a comedian. He's not like strictly speaking an auditor, but I, uh, he kind of is. So this is the video we're going to be responding to. As you can see, I've, I've watched like this much of it. It's funny. His videos are funny. So basically he does do audits and he's right and he seems to know his rights and stuff but he does it in a very comical way so i haven't watched all his videos a lot of his videos have nothing to do with first amendment audits he does not call himself an auditor i actually think this might be the first video he ever actually refers to what he's doing as an audit and the reason that i wanted to talk about this video today is because he kind of makes a little bit of a spoof on long island audit and i don't know if it's because he's like inspired by him or is he trying to make fun of him but i do find it to be very entertaining and funny and just on that note i do think that y'all will enjoy his channel so without further ado let's get right into this video so i don't know where he is in this video let's see so the name of the Video is hilarious, quote, First Amendment audit kept coming back till they were chill. It looks like he may have some lawsuits going on. Contribute to the two active law thingies. And then he has this in the description box. When in doubt, just be chill. And look, the top comment here is, you're definitely bringing awareness to law enforcement about the First Amendment. Keep it up. You bring humor and awareness without confrontation. And then the guy like heart reacted. So, uh, it's hard to know if what he's trying to do is actually like First Amendment audits or if he's trying to make fun of First Amendment audits or he's just taking a different approach to them. But look, I mean, he does have other audit type videos like being a butterfly is a crime now. Like he's got his butterfly costume. Being silly in public is a crime now. Karen snitches. Cops swarm. He's he is funny. He seems funny. I have definitely have not watched all his videos. They just kind of come up in my feed from time to time. So we're gonna be watching the hilarious First Amendment audit kept coming back till they were chill. And I have not seen the end. I've seen a bit more than half of this one. So let's just watch it together and see how it goes. No, 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 go. Go right now. Go. So you're not to film the building. In the entire building? Even the even the I'm, listen, I'm not here to do some semantics, go back and forth. You have to leave. I'm gonna need to rush you for trespassing. You can't video in here because it's a police station. No video recording inside the station. Can't take pictures in there. Well, you're checking no, pretty. No, 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 no. You're not to come up there. Come downstairs, please. What are you doing? Hi, can I help you? Oh, yeah, it's, it's just a free press with the First Amendment. It's a CO sweep. So this so far just is really giving like similar vibes to Long Island Audit. 
And he actually makes a reference to Long Island Audit. So I don't know if this is on Long Island or if he's trying to kind of like hint, hint at the Long Island Audit style or way of doing things. I really don't know, but we'll get to that part. I'll show you all what I mean when we get there. Oh, but they might be corrupt. They might, uh, they might just pass it. <laughs> what, what am I doing that's not allowed, just so I know? You're not following my instructions here. There's no seal sweep needed here. You're going to have to leave. That's what the clandestine people say. <laughs> sure. okay, that's enough now. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> it's so funny. There's some, is there some back here? There is nothing back there. Can I see your phone? Oh, yeah. For sure. It's, yeah, okay. it's on I, record. Can I have your phone? Oh, can you have my phone? Can I have your phone? This man is on drugs there's no way can you have my can you have my phone no absolutely not and see like there's another reason why i like watching this guy stuff because he never loses it he just doesn't lose it he just stays in this funny silly character the whole time like imagine somebody asking me if they could have my phone i would cuss them the fuck out he's like oh 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 no no you can't have my phone no no yeah i haven't been asked that since a uh, junior year in high school when it was taken oh, by mr prony well, i haven't been asked about any clandestine activities or anything you're talking about so and so this guy's always talking about clandestine activities and clandestine is like secret or like covert, like undercover. Let, let me just look up. I'll, I'll tell you all the exact. <laughs> okay. So clandestine in the dictionary is uh, like if you're just talking about clandestine in the dictionary, it says kept secret or done secretively, especially because it's illicit or like illegal. But then there's also clandestine operations which is an intelligence or military operation carried out in such a way that the operation goes unnoticed by the general population or specific enemy forces. So this guy's always talking about clandestine operations, CO. I'm doing a CO sweep. So he's basically, I think it's just a parody, but he's doing it in a way where it's like, no, he actually does have the right to do this. He's trying to uncover the clandestine operations of the government officials and wherever he is and whatever he's doing. I it's it's very different style than the other audits we've seen on the channel. This is our village hall that you're not welcome here right now. None of this shit. You're not authorized to be here. I'm authorized by J.K. Rowling. This is a public building. <laughs> Let's get out. A J.K. Rowling? What does that do with anything? Let, oh, oh, oh. I don't want to touch you. I want okay. you to leave. Okay, sir, you're, you're screaming clandestine right now. You're, yeah. I just don't get it. Like, well, you don't get it. There's a lot of things you don't get. You have to get out. Okay. Get the fuck out. Okay. Okay. What, what'd you cuss? That's clandestine. Well, that's clandestine. No, 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 go! Go right now! Go! CO activity confirmed. Go! There's definitely some clandestine activity over Would here. Would you go? Over here, ma'am. Please! We already Look, his clipboard's empty. There's nothing on the clipboard. Look at it. No, no need to. Okay, good. I hope they look into your clandestine I hope they activities. Come in here and I hope they arrest you. Arrest me? Yeah. They're coming here and I hope they arrest you. Listen to this tyrant. I hope they arrest you for being in this empty room with an empty clipboard. I think they will let me rest. They hate freedom. These people hate freedom. And do my thing. And do my CO sweep. Go do your CO sweep over there. I asked you and told you that you have to leave. I understand, but under what reasoning? Is As the village administrator, I said you have to leave this building. And you have to leave now. Go into any He's like the Jan guy, Glare. Any other public building, when someone tells you, when an official says you have to leave, you have to leave. No, you don't. That's not true. That's a lie. So, leave now. No. What if I come in showing my nipples on a shirt and they don't like that? And do I have to leave then? I don't care about that. So then they just don't like nipples, just like you don't like clandestine operation sweeps. Okay. I don't care about that. This is so silly. Do I have to make a quick phone call? No. Hey, you have a phone right there. You can make your phone call. Okay. He does these too fast. I can't read them. Let's see. At this point, CO is torn. I think CO is referring to the APRI guy. He says at this point, CO is torn. He wants to keep it chill, but also understands that some positive, meaningful conflict is, is healthy. Plus, CO has picked up on potentially clandestine activity and must finish his sweep. Also, the building has trippy art and CO wants to check it out. You can make your phone call. Okay. Just gotta make your... But do it from outside. Do it from outside. outside. But then they're going to think you're covering up the clandestine activity and they're going to put they pressure. Can... CO is going to put pressure on Paul. They could, then they could think that. The entire building or just this room? The entire building. The entire building. But why not? No, I thought it was just this room. He wants to chill in the other chill rooms. You are not here on village business. You're here on your business, which is not my business. It's, it's, both, it's both of our business. I'm making sure there's another clandestine going on back here. I don't care. This crackpot shit that you're talking about, you have to leave. <laughs> Walking around this building taking pictures? You are defying me. I can't. 
Sio's not trying to defy Fred. Sio just wants to chill in the trippy building. See, he's funny. I can't wait for the police walk in here, and then you can go and spend two hours at the police station talking to them. This is just honestly tyranny, and and it is funny because of the way that the auditor non-auditor whatever is doing the jokes and stuff but it's not funny like this is how they think this is how they do oh well we're gonna call the police and we know that you're not really doing anything wrong but we're gonna have to make you sit over there and take your freedom away for at least like you know two hours F you shut up shut up about what about the clandestine activities that go yes. on here do you no. maybe from this angle do I you mind if no, i do it I please said you can't go back here no even you have a clipboard with no paper <laughs> This happens a lot where it's like the people are mad at the guy, but they don't like they they also think it's funny. They're like, what are you doing? You have this clipboard, you have no paper. Like, look at the guy, he's like smiling. Even though he's cussing him out, he's smiling. He's on the mic. Let's go. Clandestine activity confirmed. Okay, it's on record. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Now that she's gone, we're it's just me and you. You're chill. You are kind of chill a little bit, kind of. We, we get each other. She's for, we have an empty clipboard. Well, hopefully I don't fill it up okay, with so clandestine you activities. Go analyze it and decode it it's empty for now. He said you have an empty clipboard. He goes, well, hopefully I don't fill it up with clandestine activities. You're allowed to be in here. I, there's no signs or anything. I, I doesn't matter if there's a sign. Hey, how's it going, officer? He seems to be mentally unstable. And okay, so of course, as we talk about on this channel all the time, particularly with the Britney case and with the Bam case, the tyrants will tell the police that people are mentally unstable, people have mental conditions, stuff like that, in order to take their freedom away. We've seen it happen many times. Adam22 even went so far as to say that about me. He said women like me should be locked up because we're sick in the fucking head. And the first thing that this police officer is told about this, we'll call him an auditor, even though, you know, who knows. The first thing the police officer is told about this auditor is he seems to be mentally unstable. So it already puts the officer in the headspace of not treating the auditor like a human being. Yes. We need to in addition to him. Excuse me? Oh, I was saying, same to him. I don't understand what you're trying to say. Can I help you with anything? Oh, uh, no, no, no they, they might not. Uh, he doesn't need any help. Destroy the CEO. <laughs> destroy the CEO. Okay, so you're going to be on your way? Yeah, yeah, after I've done right my now. quick CEO sweep. Are you Oh, no, I don't. You don't? Okay. So, are you going to get going? Oh, yeah, after I do my quick seal sweep, it'll be okay, they, about a minute. Ghostbuster baloney is you can. But Ghostbuster baloney? But I have to still have to finish my seal sweep. Okay, he can't have it. But so, isn't this a publicly accessible building, though? So can I do my seal sweep real quick? Can we please go outside? Oh, we can. Like, I don't know, I haven't watched enough of this guy's videos to know for sure, but it kind of sounds like exactly like a Sean Reyes voice. Like, it's almost like he's trying to maybe parody Sean a little bit. It would be about a minute and a half okay. if I can just do my seal sweep real quick. They run this, this facility. But isn't this public? Is this a public area? Just wondering. This is not up to me. I don't work here. No. Oh, I see. It, it is up to you. You should know if it's a public building or not. You, you, that was pathetic. It's not up to me. I don't work here. So you're just following orders like the guards in the camp. Okay, got it. They said no, so we gotta go. You have to leave. But isn't this public though? Isn't this a public area? Correct me if I'm wrong. Are you gonna continue to do this? The building had so much chill art and stuff in the other room. Co legit wanted to stay and chill in VIP. <laughs> I think it's so funny because oh, he's really he's not hurting anything. Like, there's no one here. The guy's just walking around the room videoing. It's, you know, if he was doing this in the middle of a town hall meeting or something, like, I don't know, maybe I would have a different opinion. But it's just so cut and dry. The man ain't doing nothing wrong. Are you trying to stop me from doing my seal sweep? No, I'm just going to, I'm asking you if we're going to continue to have this argument. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm just being stopped from doing my seal sweep before I leave. Is that, is that you mind, guys mind if I uh, do that? Or? I do mind. Uh, so it's just about a minute and a half. You mind if I pass you no, and just do my, no, my seal sweep over here? here? Is there something clandestine going on back here? They want you, are you in to on leave. It? It's, it you guys are giving me clandestine. He is in on it. He's in on the clandestine activity for sure. Clandestine vibes. Okay. We're giving you clandestine vibes. Okay. Should we go around the room introducing ourselves? Are you guys calling a supervisor or what should I do? Are you guys calling a supervisor? <laughs> Is that what's going on? You mind if I just check back there? No. Are you, you guarding the clandestine activities? I said no. 
If I'm asked if you should be arrested, I'm going to ask the officers to do that. Oh, shut the f*** up. No one's asking you, Grandpa. What's your opinion on the matter, Officer Nichols? You do not have any business in this building. But how do you know? You don't know my because business. you have no documents. You have no you documents. What would, what would a document no be? Tell us where you live. You must. So you leave. have to do all You don't have to do any of that shit to have business in the building. All that in order to have business yes. in the building? To take pictures in this building? Yes. Should I start with a name? You can call me Lizard Queen. Okay, we'll no, we need an ID. And I I, I'm from uh, Bethlehem, Australia. We need an ID. Go back to Australia. Like a fairy. That was rude. Let's go. He said I'm cornered. Hold on. Very monotone. You don't have to be listening. Trying to hear the Asifer calling the supervisor. So he's trying to hear the officer. He's like spells things funny and wrong on purpose, I guess. Listen to the police officer. He's doing his job. So you don't have to be listening to the police officer. You can leave the building. Take it to the board now and leave the building. Officer Nichols, is that is that space for me to go back and do my CO sweep? Oh, I thought you were leaving a space for me. Sorry. Just to be clear, is it a public building? Just just so I know. Just genuinely asking. CO is down to admit that he was incorrect if the area is not public or whatever. Is it? I could be mistaken. Is it not a public building? I'll be. We'll it's just that no one has answered the question or whatever. <laughs> okay, but you don't know off the top of your head though. That's slightly concerning, but no pressure. You don't know this is a public building? Is that a fair question? I answer any more of your questions. Okay. You always keep it at 69, Fred? Hi. <laughs> he said, looks at camera, and the caption said, oh, Jesus. My name is uh, Sergeant Tansy. How are you? Hey, great. How are you, Sergeant? Oh, not much. Just doing my uh, CO sweep and then I'm going to head out of here. You're not allowed to film the whole building. This whole public building I'm not allowed to film? Not allowed to film. Not allowed to film. He's been, I, I'm the military administrator. So I ordered him over him. Ordered. I ordered him. I ordered him. And see, that's really the main issue. These f servants think they have the right to order us to do something. The village administrator ordered him to cease his constitutionally protected activity now i don't care what you think about this guy i really i don't it don't even matter it's completely immaterial he is in fact indeed engaged in a constitutionally protected activity period he is so it don't really matter that he's joking in fact it makes it probably better that he's joking because it really shows just exactly how stupid these tyrants are i ordered him to stop okay well that was an unconstitutional order who the do you think you are trying to order we the people to do something go sit down in your office that the taxpayers pay for go go to leave the building no id to show us no documents all right you don't need an id all right so you know what like, how about we just leave voluntarily so it's not a problem oh, okay you mind if i finish my business here real quick no business uh see how sweeping something else no we're just gonna we're just gonna go because if not you're gonna, be, you're gonna be charged with trespassing trespassing from a public building you have to leave i want you to go and I want, I want you to go voluntarily, so we don't have to arrest you. Okay. Not voluntary. It's still under threat of arrest. It's not voluntary. So I'm asking you, would you please leave? I want you to arrest you for trespassing. You're not allowed to film the building. In the entire building? Even the, even the... I'm not here to do some semantics, go back and forth. But there is some sort of discussion we have to have, right? You're ordered to leave. You are ordered to leave. Ordered to leave. leave. Shut up. This freaking Colonel Sanders or whatever over here is still you are ordered to shut up. Shut up. You called the cops over here, so now shut the f up and let the cops do what they're doing. If you were going to sit there and yap your dentures together, then you shouldn't even call the cops. You sitting here talking about ordered under what authority? You can't kick nobody out of this building. That's why you had to call the people with the guns and the tasers and the pepper sprays and things. Shut up. Just shut up. Just shut up. Next time you use the word ordered, it better be at the McDonald's. You have to leave the building. Even though it's my constitutional right to be here in this public building filming? You have to leave the building. Uh he does know his rights, y'all. I don't care. Like, he knows his rights. Uh, and, and if I don't, then what happens, officer? Just wondering. Okay, listen. Last time. Uh, he's trying to get them to say it's under threat of arrest. If you don't leave, you're going to be charged with trespassing. Chime, okay, chime. so if I don't, if I don't leave, you're going to arrest me for trespassing? You're correct. Oh, okay. Awesome. Officer Nichols, I knew something clandestine was going on around here. <laughs> Mind if I do a CO C sweep down there? It's time to go. Let's go. Clandestine activities going on in here. We'll be back. He's funny. Back for our sweep. Thank, Thank you. Uh, you too. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I could incorporate it. September 19th. It's like he's on purpose, like blurring out where he is. How's it going? 
see the on the right sergeant can i come check out the clandestine activities you're gonna still keep guarding them <laughs> now sergeant you did just kick me out of a public building that i had business in you understand that right see like that like i feel like i've heard sean reyes say that exact sentence in that exact voice like it's because this guy's voice changes in different videos like some videos he has like an indian accent like some videos he has different accents so i feel like he's like got his long island audit altar on right now good day you too he said have a good day that was oh that was kind of chill definitely some clandestine activity going on in that sergeant Wait, what, what nassau county is that new york let me look it's new york it is on long island the guy's on long island so so maybe he actually just talks like this maybe he's not maybe that's just some people from long island talk i guess it could be other nassau counties but he talks like long island audit but now i'm realizing he's on long island right now so maybe that's just how he talks it's car Hey, how you doing, Fred? Just finishing my uh, CO sweep from last time. Came back into the trenches, he Hopefully said. He's not in on the uh, clandestine activities. Currently. Oh, here comes the cop again. Okay, so the cop's down there going, so there's no signs posted? And the lady goes, no. And the cop goes, is he causing a disturbance? No. And then the cop goes, I'll let him do his investigation. <laughs> it's public, public space. How you doing, officer? How you doing, sir? Great, how are you? Good. Officer Chanto, nice to meet you. Investigation. Yeah, exactly, you already know, clandestine operations. Uh, still got a clandestine vibe over there. All right, so uh, my, my half of the investigation is done for today. We may have to do a uh, pop-up visit at some point just to, just to check on Fred, make sure nothing clandestine is going on, because uh, uh, there definitely might be some. Oh, look at her, after she was hollering and screaming. Uh, clandestine activities that are being covered up, so. Okay. Awesome, and I appreciate you uh, respecting my first amendment rights. Of course. Days later, back into the trenches yet again. So he's back again. Looks like there's a uh, authorized personnel only sign. Oh, they put up a new sign. That's not clandestine. Has the healthy conflict sparked clarity on the sitch? I don't think it was ever supposed to be authorized personnel only. I think they put that sign up to keep people out, that's, even though it's a public building. It's according to uh, clandestine standards, so watch. Stay tuned. Watch what's coming up. Respect to that. All right, guys, so now we're going to do our CO status reveal party. We're going to reveal it to not-so-clandestine Fred downstairs. This guy is crazy. Hey, how's it going, Fred? Just doing a uh, clandestine operations reveal party, status reveal. I have good news. Status reveal party. You guys are approved and all set to go. I'm going to leave that with you. Put that there. Perfect. Take care, Fred. Much love. I just uh, We just did a status reveal party for CO, just letting you know you guys are approved. Great job, guys. Approved for doing clandestine operations. <laughs> They're approved as clandestine. Um, heading out on a positive note. Bless all these people. Wish them the best. Let's revisit to celebrate one day. Thank you. All right, much love, y'all. All right, guys. So we're here at Long Beach City Hall. Get a status review. They're at Long Beach City Hall. Reveal to Officer Shear. All right, guys. So we're gonna go to the end of the hall here. Last time, a lady seemed to be up to clandestine activities, and she called the Ossifers on me. <laughs> this girl just said I took a picture of a painting, turned around, then lady gets on phone right away. See, look, previously on Long Island ASIF. <laughs> what is this? Taking pictures. So there might be some clandestine activity over here. Me. We're just gonna do a quick check. There she is, making sure nothing clandestine's going on here. <laughs> hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? I find this to be so funny. Doesn't seem to be up to anything clandestine. Definitely gonna keep an eye on her. And if she does well, maybe she'll get a balloon. What's he doing with this? Tax accessories. He's got this balloon. Oh, just doing a CO sweep. What? Oh, just doing a uh, CO sweep in the building. Yeah, just a CO sweep. Clandestine operations. Tax accessories office. Perfect. Awesome. Seems everyone's familiar with the uh, CO sweep by now. That's cool. <laughs> I'm surprised they were acting like that on Long Island. Because Long Island audit started there, I think. You, you remember CO from last time? CO? Yeah, yeah, but uh, clandestine operations. Operating as the free press. I remember you from last time. Back, yes. <laughs> yes, is, is Officer Shear. I remember you from last time. You're here by chance? No, he does not work here. He's in the Long Beach Police Department. Oh, because we were going to give him a, uh, we had a gold standard for CO. And then uh, Dip Palma and the boys. You, you're, you're under, see, you're under the boys. <laughs> you got you to gotta run her up. Yeah, so we were just uh, gonna 
thank you guys for showing uh, respect to CO and being calm and handling the situation with uh, respect. Go out the front, around the corner, you can, you can find Officer Sherry. Yeah, well, we're gonna we're just gonna drop this off to him. But you see, okay. I got yeah. you right there. Right. Isn't that chill? Yeah. All, right. All right, was that chill? Okay. I did. Oh, you did? Was it chill? What'd you think? I wish it didn't happen, but it did. But why? What about it? You guys were calm. I think you guys look good. What do you, what there, do you guys? There's some people that, that don't behave correctly. But, you know, oh, like the, like the one of the ossifers or whatever? Yes. Oh. Ah! Really? <laughs> I like this guy. He's like, I wish it didn't happen. And the auditor's like, what? Well, well, why? What? What do you mean? And he's like, well, some of the officers don't know how to act. He said, I wish those officers wouldn't act like that. So that's not the thin blue line right there. That man said, mm, it wasn't me. I'm just over here at the metal detector. Yes, sir. All right, you too. Take care. I'm just looking for Officer Shear. Uh, he is at court. Oh, yeah, he's really chill. We were giving him a gold standard award. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Not, not at all today. Should I come back another day? Should I leave with you guys, maybe? Uh, you can leave with me if you want. I'll, I'll give it Where should, Are you going to bring it into the city hall? Uh, so, I'll bring it into the police station. Oh, perfect. Should we bring it in together? Maybe do a little reveal party yeah, together? If you, you want to go into the police station. Yeah, yeah let's do that. I like, you're, you have chill vibes. You're hey, what's up, guys? Uh, not much. Just giving uh, Officer Shear his... Uh... It's that exact... Hey, what's up, guys? That's the part that really makes me feel like it's like a Long Island audit parody, but the fact that the fact of the matter is he's actually on Long Island audit. The guy might be from Long Island. That's just might be how they talk over there. They might just all talk like that. Gold standard award here. Right. To, yeah, Officer Shear got the... Oh, I'm with clandestine operations. Right. You just have to follow the sign, so You can't video in here. Because it's police station. You can't video inside the... Uh... No video... Oh, here they go with this policy or any taping inside the station even if you ask officer Shear if i'm CEO. Yes, oh it's, okay, you can okay. talk to officer Shear, but you just can't video inside. oh i see even even if i'm oh okay he's off, off duty yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's not in here today oh okay perfect but, and then yeah. should, should i leave the balloon with, uh, with yeah, him just just you just can't record inside here oh i see inside officer, sensitive officer, documents also for Shear would approve yeah he, he, would, would, he would approve i appreciate that yeah, once you're out here, you can do whatever you want. Okay, perfect. You just can't be in, in, in there. Cause... See, there's a video. It's a recording tampering. Oh, okay, I won't. But, uh, but I am a uh, clandestine operations, though. I think uh, also for Q would explain it. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. You can do whatever you want, but just not video being there. Oh, okay, you, you guys seem chill. I'm sorry, what I don't. Is the I'm gonna back up. Oh, it's four. What is the balloon for? He is so funny to me. For us for sure, uh, his gold standard. It's like a. Uh, Wait, can I see it? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Oh man, hold on, hold on, hold on. Clandestine operations declares Ossifer Sheer as gold standard. Oh my god, this looks like a that surprise witness thumbnail. His calming denicer. The confidence oozing from Officer Shear as he fairly analyzes the sitch without preconceived notion. He is so chill. C.O. Paul Paul. Shout out to the runner-up, De Palma and Du Bois. That's the boys. Long Beach City Hall was chill in 2023. <laughs> okay, this is funny. I would go on an audit with this guy, too. I always say I wouldn't do audits with people. I would I would go with this guy. <laughs> Thank you. He's on there. Oh, that's you? That's oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, that's you. You're the runner-up. I didn't notice. I'm the runner-up. Uh, <laughs> for Minkoff, right here. Right in front of us. The runner-up is right in front of my eyes. I can't believe this. It's epic. He's one of the boys. You, can, you, you got to respect because you were chill. I, I, the Paul and the boys. I, 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 it's just, he's doing the office. same motion, too. Yeah. <laughs> the same. <laughs> oozing from Officer Sheer. <laughs> Heck yes. <laughs> Did you see the video by chance? Uh, I didn't, I was, but I was there when you were recording, so I oh, saw it live. Yeah, you, it live. you gave a funny reaction to the clandestine operations. You're oh, like, okay. Oh. Yeah, yeah, so we're just super quick CL sweep. And then uh, did some other business, and then I'll be out of here. I'll, I'll take the balloon. I'll give it to Officer Shearer when he comes in. Or you, you think, or, or, you know, this is the highest level of chill that we have here. Oh, it seems like I'm, I am picking up on yes, chill vibes yes, here. Yes, yes. 
a gold standard chill vibes he's done. He has absolute chill vibes. He would be the number one candidate for the blue. Heck yes. He's also an excellent driver. So how about Ossifer Kubler gets the balloon and then Ossifer Sheer gets the uh, gold standard? Sure. Ossifer Minkoff will take the official gold standard to I, hand to Ossifer Sheer. Uh, uh, Normally we don't award Ossifers this fast, but uh, CEO's really good at picking up on vibes, so we're going to give Ossifer yeah. Kubler a uh, gold standard balloon. Thank you, I appreciate it. Thank you, yes, for the way that you guys remain chill even though CEO was in there recording and you were respectful. Your group of Ossifers over here is really chill at Long Beach. Is yeah, that, we're all pretty chill. Is that the vibes I'm getting here? Yeah, you got the Long Beach vibes. Thank you. Be chill. Exactly, right? Thank you. I mean, they did kick the man out the building at first. Yes, exactly. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, All right, well, it's nice meeting exactly. you. I feel, I feel like I want to keep chilling with you guys. I love the vibe. <laughs> right. Have a good day. All right, right y'all. We'll leave on the laughs and good positivity. This was cute. Yes, of course. Much love, Long Beach. Hey, how's it going, Lucifer? All right, guys. So we're just getting out of the city hall police department building here. See, like, this part sounds so much like Sean. All right, guys, we're just getting out of the city hall police department here. In Long Beach, the interaction between Minkoff and Kubler, those are the kind of positive interactions we need to bridge the gap between law enforcement <laughs> and we the people. <laughs> Although they did enforce the unaus of constitutional... I don't know, y'all. I think it's a parody of Long Island Audit, but it's still an audit. ...policy. They de-escalated. They were cordial. I like to maintain a neutral standpoint and put myself in their shoes even though my feet wouldn't fit because I'm size 14 and a half, we want to attack the bigger problem at the source, and that's what we the people are going to do. Oh my god, please. I will go to Long Island to do an audit with this guy, please. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this one in the comment section below. As always, stay safe, God bless, I'll see you in the next video. Okay, 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 no, okay. That just did it for me. As always, stay safe, God bless, that was a Long Island audit. He is tipping his hat to Long Island audit for sure. Yo, Long Island, Ossif. Peace. Definitely. Okay. There's no more speculation for me on this one. Like, he definitely is. He just did the whole entire outro of Long Island Audit. But I know a lot of y'all think, like, you know, he's not, like, a real auditor. And he kind of is, like, messing it up for real auditors. He's just a comedian. But, like, if you look at what he just did, that was an audit. Like, because he was doing it with a little bit of comedy, a little bit of tongue-in-cheek, a little bit of parody, a little bit of all that. I think that just adds to it, to be honest. I think that just puts another layer onto it that makes it more entertaining and enjoyable to watch. Oh, my God. There's one of those gross bugs on my wall. Silverfish. Ah! Nasty. Anyway, um, yeah, that's all I really had for today. In the meantime, facts ain't defamation. Love you, Mina. Okay, bye.